Hey, good morning. Once again, it's time for the 5.30 drive. It's 5.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning, October 2nd. So I am almost two weeks into the carnivore diet. I've got like 13 days. And uh, I feel great. Everything's going the right direction. Um, I'm kind of losing inflammation. I don't have achy in my elbow anymore. I don't, you know, I feel pretty good. A little sore from uh, spin class yesterday. But other than that, everything's going great. Greg Brill, good morning. Um, so yeah, I feel great. Everything's been awesome. So we'll see. I got a couple more weeks. We'll see how it goes. I put my blood test up, how I started off. Not, not that most healthy. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. It gets better. That's my goal. Um, and like I said, my goal wasn't to lose weight on this diet. My goal is to get rid of inflammation. And conversely, I've lost about seven pounds. I've lived in the first seven days. And then for the last six days, I've kind of just stayed steady at that seven pound loss. So like I said, it's not about losing weight. It's about just decreasing inflammation in my body. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go into um, activation energy. I left off yesterday a talk by Mel Robbins from her TED Talks. It's an awesome talk. Um, she talks about activation energy, which is um, basically inertia. If you know, inertia, the definition of inertia is not changing, just doing exactly the same thing. Or an object at rest tends to stay at rest, which is the same thing. So inertia is getting off your ass and doing something. So if you don't, if you, the hardest part is getting started, what I'm trying to say. So if you don't get started, you don't get motivated, you don't get after it, then it's never going to happen. You take that first five seconds and think about something and you let the, let it go. You got to jump on it right away. Let's say, for example, you have a project of um, starting your own business or starting a diet and you'll say, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it later. Or, I'll get on it. Like I said, the hardest part is getting off your ass and getting started. So imagine you have a huge boulder and you got to push this big boulder and you can't get it started. But once you get it going and you get pushing and pushing and pushing and that thing's rolling at 100 miles an hour, it's hard to stop. That's when the, the inertia becomes momentum. And once you have momentum, there's nothing you can't do. So that's the key. Get off your ass and get started. No matter what it may be, any kind of project you want to do. It may be doing laundry. Like, ah, oh, I don't do laundry. It just sucks. Just sitting in there. I'm not going to go do laundry. Whatever project you have to do that's important to you, get going. So that's the most important part. Um, you have this five-second thing in your head where you're at a party and everybody's like, let's all get up and dance. And for five seconds, you're like, yeah, I'm going to get up and dance. This is going to be awesome. And then you think about it like, oh, no, I might look stupid or no, I don't want to dance. And then, then you lose it. Jump on it before your mind has a chance to talk you out of it. Whether it be a project, having fun, whatever it may be, use that five-second rule. Don't talk yourself out of it. Your mind's going to try to keep you in the comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. All the magic happens when you're expanding yourself and getting out of that comfort zone. So I'm telling you, get off your ass, start the project, whatever it may be, and get that inertia. So once you start pushing, you get out of that inertia, you get the momentum, and you can't be stopped. So hey guys, I appreciate you coming on this morning. 534, I had a four minute talk. So off to the next one. And I want to let you know, I hope you have an awesome Tuesday. And I love you. And if somebody needs this, send it off to them. Need somebody needs to get off their ass. You need to get some momentum from that inertia. Tag them in this or share it with them. Hey guys, have a wonderful day. And I do love you. Bye.